Hello guys, welcome back. In this Jetpack Pack Compose tutorial, we will learn about rows and how to utilize it to create simple yet elegant UI using rows and columns building blocks only. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's create here a new file and we're going here to and right click and create here a new Kotlin file. And we have to select here file and not class. So we are going to call this And inside here, you can use the row keyword to create a row. And if you press here control Q, it's going to fetch up the documentation. Now it's arranged its children in horizontal sequenced format. As you can see here, it takes the parameter similar to the column. It takes in modifier, horizontal arrangement and vertical alignment, which is different from the column that it took the vertical arrangement and not a horizontal arrangement. And here we have the vertical alignment also. So we can use this to place and position our child differently. So right now here we have created this inside here. We want to create that UI. So first and foremost, we are going to create first that text, which displayed in terms of columns. So we are going to use columns. If you don't know about columns, I, I encourage you to check the video above, which I'm going to link it so that you can learn about columns. And if you don't know about horizontal arrangement and vertical arrangement, I encourage you to watch that video first. And now let's create here a new composable. So you can write just comp here and we are going to create this and call it my text. Now we have to create here a default modifier and you have to choose this one modifier and we are going to assign it to a, a default modifier and we're going to use this modifier and then I'll show you later why we are going to keeping it here. Now inside here we can create a column and inside here we have to pass now our text now i'm going to pass in here a text now we can pass in hello we can try to style this composable by using the style here argument And we are going to use the material. We want to change the type of typography, which we are going to use here. So we are going to use a material themes and we are going to call this typography. And then we are going to use this header six. So basically here, what we are doing here, we are changing the style and we want this typography to select the headline six. And we can try to create here a font weight, for example, then we can set here to bold. And also we have to limit this in order so that it can be a, a long title. So we have to limit this to only one, one line. So we are going to use this max line and we are going to pass in one. Now, if the text will be trimmed, we have to show that there is more text to the user. So we are going to use a overflow here parameter. And inside here, we can specify that there is ellipse or we can clip or show anything so we're going to use ellipse here in order to show that there is more text which is coming so as you have seen here we have used this now i'm going to create another text here as you can see we are using this length composable and we have used the style the material body one here instead of header six and these are similar to this one here and also here i have passed in here the material themes and the body two and we are going to use the max line one and text overflow to ellipse and i have changed the color to gray as you can see here there are different parameters which you can pass in to stylize according to your preferences mm -hmm. now so we can try and call this my text inside here and right now here we have created our text now we have to create that profile icon which we have shown which we are, let me just bring this in order to get a room here now we are going to call this my profile so let's create here a comp and we are going to call this my profile and basically here what we are creating we are using a surface so this surface is going to be a placeholder. So if there is no image or a profile image, and for now we are going just to use this profile, but you can try to load the image from URL or anywhere. So right now we are using just this surface. And inside here we can pass in a shape. 
for example here we can pass in shape and specify that we want this to be a circular a circular shape now we have to provide also a size so we are going to use a modifier here and we have to pass in here default modifier a default modifier and we can use here this modifier and then we can specify a, a size so we are going to get a size of 50 dp and you have to import this and now we can specify here also color so we are going to use red now as you can see here we have created a, a, a simple surface here inside and we are going to use a column in order to create or to, to, to center that child in the center. And we are going to use this column. So for example, here we are going to use column. And we can use here the vertical arrangement. So we can center this at the center. Also, we can pass in a horizontal alignment. And we can pass in here alignment. And we are going to center it horizontally. So we are going to center in the child at the center. Now we can pass in here text, for example, and we are going just to pass in here H. We can change the color of this text and we can set this to, to color white. And we can change here the font weight bold let's just tidy up something here now as you can see here we are using here a column and we are centering this vertically inside here so let's try and call here my my profile let's try and preview here so we have not created here a preview function. So we can try by calling just brief and create a preview function. And we are going to call this my preview. And inside here, we are going to call this function here, my row. Our preview has finished as you can see here, but it's not spaced correctly. And we're going to fix this in just a moment. So let's finish and create here the last part here that display the time. And we are going to create here another composable. So you can just write here comp and we are going to call this. And then let's create here default modifier. And then inside here, we are going to use a column. So we can pass in here, for example, the text. And we can change the color here. And we can set this to blue. We can use here body two inside to stylize here and we can pass in icon and inside here in this icon we are going to pass in the we're going to use the icon and you have to use this android x and inside here we are going to call this outlined and also we have to select the star so basically here we are getting an image vector of an outline and we can set up this content description now basically we have created here so we can try to align this for example here we can use the vertical arrangement and also we can align this chart by using the modifier here inside And we can send this to the end. So now basically here we are creating this and we are going to arrange it to the end. And also we have to pass in here the modifier. So we are going to use this in just a moment here. And we can try and call this modifier inside here. So we can call here my star. 
Now let's preview here and we can try to rebuild here our function. Right now, as you can see here, there is nothing which is showing here and we have provided there because this text is going to push forward that another text. So we can fix this by using those default modifiers which we have been passing inside here. And for example, here we have to use this modifier. And now inside here, we are going to create another val and we are going to call this modifier. And we are going to specify here another modifier. And inside this modifier, we're going to pass in the weight. So we are going to use the weight in order to provide a room for others so that the, all of the text, they can be shown inside here. So for example, here we can pass in a modifier. So we are going to use one F. So here, this is the float data type and here we can pass in another modifier and we want this text to occupy here the largest and we don't want this weight this icon here to fill up the whole space so we are going to call this fill and set it to force also here we can pass in this modifier. And basically here we can pass in one F in order to not fill this here. Now, as you can see here, let's try and rebuild and refresh here our preview and see. Now, as you can see here, now it's just spaced good. And there is a space here and space here. And because we have used these parameters, the horizontal arrangement, and we have spaced this evenly, and we have used the modifier just to fix up the whole width. Now we can try to create a list of this one. And we are going just to do this right now here. And we can create, for example, let's just try and collapse all of this one. And we can create here my screen. And down below here, for example, we can create another composable and we can call this my screen. And inside here now we can create a column. And inside this column here we can create now we can call that my row. And we can use that. We can use a divider and this one is the built-in composable which you can pass in a divider which is going to divide this in a row for example here we can pass in color let's just use a color and we can use here black and also we can provide the thickness and we can we are going to use just two dp now inside here we are going to create a row and we can call here a repeat function so this one is going to repeat it just 10 times and it's going to produce the same result. So it's going to produce these 10 results which are being divided by this divider. So let's preview here and inside here we can call this my screen. And let's preview it. Now this is our preview here because we have repeated this 10 times and it has created these rows inside here. Now, we are just creating this inside here and you can just, for example, here in later videos, we are going to create by using list data and we are going to create a dynamic UI. Now let's navigate here to main activity and call this my screen here because right now we are just, if we launch our app, it's just going to display this greeting inside here. So let's delete this greeting here and call my screen. And right now here we are creating this composable function and we can try to run this and see it in our app so as you can see here the app is complete but there is no top up uh, so in the next videos we will create a top up bar and make the content scrollable so for now let's leave it here if you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe and provide a thumbs up see you in the next video